we might be facing a lot of good success on the way but there are also times where we face challenges on the way and when those challenges happen it also depends on how we react to those challenges that actually affects our confidence in other words affects our self confidence in how we actually achieve these goals Hi, I'm Dia Asrani and I'm a personal branding coach and I'm a, I'm the founder of Design Your Presence. And if you really like what you see, do subscribe to my channel for more things on personal branding, building your online presence and making you a confident and successful leader in your industry. I really want you to become one. So in this video, I want to talk about nine lethal habits that are tarnishing your self confidence on your way to building your brand or achieving a certain goal now this could apply for any area in your life whether it's your health goal your relationship goal you know your your life goal your business goal your finance goal anything right we are talking about what are these nine habits that we tend to actually imbibe right rather inculcate in terms of you know when we understand okay this is a challenge maybe we should take the back seat and that brings down our self confidence So I want to share this with you because I feel it's very very important. So do watch this video till the end, take notes and do actually learn with an open mind. Okay? I'm going to talk more about that in one of the points. But the fact is that you have to understand that when you are moving in a journey, it is normal to have challenges, to face failures, to you know, go through mistakes and then coming come out of it. Okay? Now the very first habit that I want to talk about which I don't want you to actually take forward is negative self talk many times you know entrepreneurs i hear them say oh this is not for me i'm not cut out for this this is definitely not working maybe i cannot earn money this way maybe i've never been a business mind so this is not going to work for me maybe i don't know marketing so marketing is not for me right now when you say this is not for me i can't i won't it's not you know i'm not cut out for it what are you telling yourself you're telling yourself that believe in this right why do you think we always tell you to go ahead and do affirmations okay or you know practice gratitude every day because you're sending it out to the world and you're telling yourself you're telling your mind that look you need to actually thank the things that are around you the people who are around you and affirmations is when you actually want to manifest and make things happen for yourself but when it comes to negative self talk it's again the same thing that you're telling your mind you're fill, you're filling your mind with thoughts that okay you cannot do it so don't do it you know so it's the same thing so you have to stop negative self talk when you're actually moving in your journey because sometimes when we tend to face challenges we tell ourselves oh maybe you know this is not for me okay so stop that the second habit which i want to talk about is not learning from your mistakes and this this is the reason one of the main reasons why you know entrepreneurs coaches trainers they tend to not take it forward in their journey okay their brand building business building because they feel i made this mistake i don't think i can do it think of another solution right now when i have a lot of clients coming to me and they tell me they are i'm so consistent in my content but i don't know what is happening nobody is coming to me i'm not getting clients i'm not getting uh, inquiries nothing i'm not getting leads etc I want to tell you one thing it's not about putting a content piece every single day okay it is about what quality are you giving out to people okay that's the first thing the second thing is even if you're giving quality to to people what are you doing that is somewhere you know kind of creating that leakage that okay maybe this is not what you should be doing okay could be like the way you actually shoot a video or maybe how you talk about a certain topic maybe there are certain things that are not resonating with people and maybe you need to change that maybe you need to change a strategy or system it could be anything that is you know that needs some tweaking please remember you're not perfect in this okay so there's always going to be something that you that is worth a change right so that's the second habit now the third habit which i want to talk about is quitting when there is a challenge just before the challenge you are quitting okay which is something that i strongly feel that you should not be doing because when you see something coming up either you quit and don't do anything about it or you go ahead and you pass through that challenge and you become successful okay i want to tell you one thing 
okay when it comes to anything that you do okay you're always going to face some challenge on the way you're always going to face something where you're going to say okay you know maybe this had to happen and now what's the next step do i quit or do i take it forward now you tell me one thing okay is your goal more important or quitting and starting something else you know thinking that okay it's going to be a smooth ride is more important okay now when you genuinely feel your business concept is not working and you need to change it well and good nobody is stopping you because you know your gut feeling right but if it's a small challenge like saying you did your first master class and you did not get any clients if that's your challenge then my friend i'm very sorry you cannot quit because only after a certain time only when people notice you they see you they see how visible you are and how you know valuable your content is only then they will come to you okay so it's not only about putting ads out there and saying oh i did so much i spent so much on marketing but nothing happened okay so don't do that don't quit okay and the fourth habit that i want to talk about is having a no it all attitude sounds like this Oh I've had 15 years of experience I've done everything in sales and marketing I have mastered marketing I've mastered sales I won an award and now I don't need to actually learn more who said with the trends actually changing with marketing trends changing with the way we sell changing you have to also know that the fact that there is still a lot of room to learn new things okay you have to understand that you cannot have a no at all attitude a no at all attitude is somebody who has an answer for everything okay the minute you start asking why what where who how about a certain topic you become more curious about it and what happens your confidence actually increases now you might say oh knowing it all means my confidence is already there yes it's there but for a very short while you don't realize that when you stop your learning okay at that line you are actually losing out on your confidence and you're bringing down your confidence to a whole new level and you don't realize because everyone's gone ahead with the trends with the way marketing is done i'm giving in the case of marketing and sales right so they they never said no at all i know it all they wanted to learn more right so you have to look at it from that perspective okay so avoid the no at all attitude the fifth habit that i want to talk about is prioritizing the wrong things now what i mean by this is you're prioritizing on things like hatred you know lack of followers you know somebody's hating you on on instagram or youtube uh, maybe you know not many subscribers not many likes on your post or maybe you're focusing on you know in terms of your relationship or anything you're focusing on the petty side of things right that is not what you need to prioritize if you want to be successful you have to prioritize on things that are important that make you change maybe change yourself maybe the way you think maybe change the way you do certain things maybe work on a different routine right maybe learn something new prioritize your growth prioritize your success in life that's what is most important than prioritizing on things that are not win for you they don't even make you grow they don't make you learn anything they only bring you down and that why that's how you bring down your self confidence okay then the sixth habit that i want to talk about is playing the shortcut game Okay now what I mean by this is that a lot of entrepreneurs tell me this oh I took the shorter route in fact I didn't have to go through all this I had to only go through these 5 days of training in 5 days I could learn and master my master the art of building a business or building an online presence okay and I've heard this and what is my answer to them so be it go ahead do it you will realize to a point that you have to learn more in fact when you take the shortcut right what happens you learn certain things very good okay sometimes shortcuts also teach you a lot of things but after a point you realize that there is only so much that you know and you need to actually learn more which makes it a long cut anyway right like a long journey anyway so instead of doing that and going in circles why not take the long route once and for all and the right route that you feel would work for building your brand or you know leading towards your goals or whatever you're doing in your life right So you have to understand that shortcut game doesn't work in any field whether it is when you're losing weight or becoming a coach online building a brand online building a business uh, having a startup reading a, I mean writing a book right nothing of that is a shortcut everything requires some time okay and if somebody tells you i can make you write your book in a day or in two days 
please give me his phone number i will get in touch with him and ask him how to do it okay because i wrote my book it took me some time okay and i think for everybody it's different but it took me some time okay and i genuinely wanted to take time so that i can go back and i can see if i'm actually making sense in my book okay so understand that shortcuts don't work all right now the seventh habit that i want to talk about is focusing on others growth and not your own i really genuinely beg you do not focus on somebody else's success you can look at them how they have done it you can you know understand how they have done it you can even learn from what they have done but don't focus on their growth and say oh they are doing so well they are getting money they have become so successful they are doing the same thing i'm also doing the same thing i'm not achieving that's your problem right you need to see that what works for you and you need to focus on your own growth that is more important so what happens when you look at somebody else because see they would have done so many things on the way that actually got them to where they are you probably have not done some of it or maybe you've already done so much and you are like realizing it's not for you so you have to focus on what is working and what's not working for yourself okay don't focus on other people's growth learn from them learn from their success stories but don't focus on that and make that your priority you focus on your own growth everyone's journey is different okay that's what i want you to avoid focusing on somebody else's growth the eighth habit that i want to talk about is trying to be someone else i want to try and be like my guru i want to try and be like my mentor i need to be like my coach i understand you are getting inspired okay and it's great to get inspired by somebody who's really good in what they do but you have to understand that nobody can be you tomorrow when you become successful okay you pass by all the challenges make the mistakes learn from them you know have a really nice success mindset right people are going to learn from you they will be inspired to be like you but they will not be you so please understand nobody can be you similarly you can't be like anybody else you have to be yourself that's why personal branding is so so important if you see my previous videos i talk about it i talk a lot about personal branding and talk about how do you become a you know outstanding in your skill how to become a leader in your industry i talk about all those things okay so you have to build your authenticity in your own presence and not focus on being like somebody else okay that's your eighth habit that you need to tarnish now the ninth habit that i want to talk about which is the final habit is blaming others for your own mistakes your own faults your own failures okay now there are certain external forces that you can't control but there are also certain things that you do on the way which probably you did in a certain way which got you to where you are maybe it made you fail maybe it made you change the game maybe it made you change the strategy whatever it is or maybe you know you didn't launch your book that doesn't mean that it's an external force oh i did not have time my kids were actually taking away so much of my time so i did not have time and i did not launch my book this is something i hear very often okay especially when we are working from home you know we tend to hear this we say oh i had too much happening in the family i couldn't do it external reason oh i couldn't you know uh, uh, launch my book because i didn't have a publisher the publisher didn't launch it on time maybe you didn't give them give them something on time or maybe you gave them a, gave them something on time but it's something that they couldn't help right so there could be many things but when it comes to your own failures your own you know thought processes don't blame others look inside and see that what did i do maybe did i i could have done this better maybe i could have you know planned it better maybe you know i could have you know done something differently think of your weight loss goals or weight gain goals okay so whatever your goals are okay now weight gain is for people who really want to gain weight maybe they have been really really you know skinny so they want to you know gain weight so that's a different goal altogether but let's talk weight loss because that's the most common one okay now when you hire a trainer okay and the trainer comes thrice a week to your house to train you in some fitness routine okay and they say that you follow this you should lose about 2 kg in the month okay now they have told you this they are giving you the exercises that will make you lose the 2 kg now what do you do behind the scenes you eat chocolates you have sweets you live a lifestyle that is you know a carefree lifestyle you're not thinking of other aspects maybe you're not drinking enough water it could be anything okay you can't be perfect 
and then you don't lose 2 kgs you lose only 500 grams what happens you blame it on the trainer oh your exercises are not good i got bored of it after a point you know i didn't like this thing i couldn't do that maybe because i couldn't do what are you doing you're blaming the external forces you're blaming the person in front of you when actually he has done his job okay now maybe yes exercises were not the best maybe you know that's why he said 2 kgs right but if you had put in the effort and you had actually you know changed your diet changed you know maybe the way you live your life maybe you would have you know drank more water or something it would have changed automatically right so you see what i'm trying to tell you it's also about what you do okay so don't blame others for your own failures okay there's something always in your mind that has stopped you from doing something okay so i hope these nine habits have you know gone into your mind okay and i hope you've taken a lot of notes and i'm sure okay i mean see we all are on a journey towards success we all are trying to achieve goals in different areas of our life but you have to understand one thing okay you're always going to have a setback and that's going to challenge you to think for it or against it okay so keep this video you know safe with you, you want to save it save it like it you know make keep it a part of your liked videos and actually go back to it and keep reviewing what are those habits that you need to actually break right away if you really like what you see and if you really like this video do like this video do talk about it below put it put your thoughts in the comment box and watch out for more because i'm going to be sharing more such videos on personal branding building your online presence and building yourself as a successful and confident leader in your industry this is dr srani signing out i will see you around soon bye bye